Jiggy Cat On a damn feeling spree This is not good so And you can't mimic my energy 100 round drum And be hanging like a centipede Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Nagaso and welcome back to the channel. As you could tell for today, we're gonna to be going ahead and updating our PlayStation 3s to the latest version of HFW, which is called Fire or Hybrid Firmware to 4.89. So this works if you're on official firmware 4.89 or you're like me and you're trying to update to the latest version of HFW so you can reaccess online, you know, reactivate your licenses and all of that fun stuff. Just like any of my other videos, I will have everything you'll need in the pinned comment down below as well as in the description and any links and supplemental readings will also be down in there but just to kind of give you a brief overview of you know why a person should basically jailbreak their ps3s or you know update there are you know a plethora of reasons why you could really open up your playstation 3 to do new things such as installing homebrew or you know running emulators uh let me try to take off the top of my head playing classic playstation 1 titles ps2 mod menus and such and so forth so those are like kind of the primary reasons one thing I do want to kind of cover right now, and I'll have this in the next section, basically all the prerequisites, just to, you know, make sure everyone's on the same page. But just to give y'all kind of guys a brief overview, all you really need for this process is a USB. Um, this USB will be formatted with FAT32 with either Windows File System or Rufus, depending on how large your file drive is. This is just an old USB 2.0 I had for years, probably since middle school. Um, that is like eight gigabytes so this will work with windows file system however if you have like a higher drive that is like 64 gigabytes 128 sometimes windows file system cannot format it to fat 32 so um we'll be using a program application called rufus which will do that for us of course you will need you know the main prize here is a playstation 3 so here's my old i don't even know what model this is keck l01 i got this one from gamestop years ago probably like 2014 2015 but this method of hack or just basically exploit works with all jailbroken systems so it, i mean retail excuse me system so it doesn't matter if you have a fat model like this it doesn't matter if you have a slim so this is my keck 2001a and it doesn't matter if you have a super slim model system as well as long as you have on all these systems under 4.89 official firmware which is the lowest firmware at this point where you can jailbreak your systems you're basically good to go it doesn't matter what region your system is so if you have a japanese playstation 3 or if you have a european or u.s model as long as you can connect to the internet have a usb stick i don't even know where i put that yeah have a usb stick then you basically good to go to get started with that being all out the way i'm going to cover a little bit more prerequisites and yeah we're going to go ahead and get started on today's video Alrighty everyone, assuming that you guys did follow everything I stated in the prerequisites as well as in the intro, we're ready to go to get started on how to download all the contents you need on the PC before we get started on the PlayStation 3 side of things. So first things first, um, of course, what we're going to be doing is going to our web browser to download all of the links and necessary downloads. Anything I state, of course, I know I sound like a broken record, will be in the link in the description down below as well as the pinned comment. Just to kind of you know tap into things right now you can see here that as of 5 20 2022 i'm recording this today at 8 29 a.m in the morning um version 3.10 has been released and provides 4.89.1 hybrid firmware support um and then see below for additional details so I won't really kind of read all of the stuff in his um, blog post since it is a lot and I'm trying to save you guys time I'm um, just to kind of showcase the full hack itself so if you guys don't know what HEN is, HEN stands for Homebrew Enabler, and it also consists of more, or excuse me, much more new functions relatively close to custom firmware. So as today's latest release, um, I won't really read everything from here, but I'll just kind of cherry pick just to, you know, give some detailed changes. In terms of HEN plugin changes, it has updated support to 4.89 HFW, of course, which is kind of like, you know, the main feature and function of this update itself. 
added act.dat backup slash restore feature. Um, so that's something new in terms of hand plugin changes. Um, in terms of payloads, updated to support H4.89 HFW. Cobra PS3 mappy changes, updated to identify 4.89 firmware. Um, just trying to read certain issues here. Updated RCO files to display issues with 4.89 only. Updated text on theme selectors in HFW. Added toggle automatic update of HF tools. Dump PSID option to HFW tools is a, another added option. And yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the recent change log changes and stuff like that. If you really want to get nitty gritty and read all of this stuff, I will definitely have this in the link in the description down below. But without further ado, we're going to be taking a look at the second link, which is to install the latest hybrid firmware, which is 4.89.1, the official release. So just to kind of give a little, you know, overview on this this official hfw 4.89.1 release was created by at little ball up so thank you for that um and has been tested over many consoles and situations please be aware of several unofficial hfw builds that are on the internet some or yeah that are on the internet some of them may work and some of them are known to have problems so that's something i kind of really wanted to tap in as well um please be sure to you know download this hybrid firmware itself since it is an official release from you know notable people in the playstation 3 hfw and hen scene so this is uh jason aka escorted i i know him personally and he basically you know creates this along with junior and habib and right side of the hfw team to create these firmware i know there was some unofficial releases that did have some instability or basically was unstable on like certain playstation 3 consoles and for me recording this to you guys i want to ensure that anytime you watch my videos that you know you have a successful time don't bring your console so you can you know unlock you know quote unquote more of the power in your ps3 by installing emulators and you know everything of that nature like homebrew and mod menus and stuff like that but with getting back to this right now the official hfw 4.89.1 has a user license user license agreement date of may 11 2022 and md5 hash of this value right here so what we're going to do now is go ahead i recommend choosing the mirror of where you want to download your file at so i have the mega i already had it up here actually but what we're going to do is we're going to download our contents of our file here but before we download it we're going to also take account of the md5 hash since this is how we're going to check the validity of our application to make sure that we are downloading the correct file and nothing has corrupt during our transfer of it to our desktop downloads folder so i'm going to just open up notepad i'm going to put this right here really quick since we're going to be needing this uh later on for this process next thing what we're going to do is go to our playstation 3 download thing right here on mega just hit allow um you can use mediafire or anything like that um but i'm using mega um because that's just a you know file uh cloud solution that i am pretty much used to but once that is pretty much done um the next step what we're going to do is unzip this file we're also going to be putting in our usb drive so we can format our usb to fat32 since that's how we're going to be updating our system on the playstation 3 and we're going to also last but not least checking the online md5 hash checker so first things first what we're going to also do is switch over next is to plug in our usb so make sure to plug in your, your usb guys into your usb port on your pc or laptop or desktop and next what we're going to do is go ahead and just keep that on the side for a second next thing what we're going to do is go back into our file directory i'm going to go down to my downloads folder as this is where i have my hfw at i'm just going to drag and drop it to the root or root of my desktop and i'm going to just hit extract all i'm going to hit extract right now next thing what we're going to do um for this process is check the md5 hash so you can see here this is the same md5 hash that we've just talked about in my um notepad right here so you can see it kind of matches up but just to verify that our file has it we're going to go back to google chrome of course this website will be in the link in the description down below we will be basically selecting our file going to uh ps3 update.pub and checking the validity of our file checksum so let me go here just control c hit control v and 
you should 100 percent ensure that you get this check mark do not proceed on you know any further in this tutorial excuse me tutorial if you see this have an x so for example if i just put a j here if you see something like that make sure you know you compare this because this would be very important because you could be downloading a corrupt file on your ps3 which could get it bricked you could be downloading something else and everything of that nature so you'll probably run into a bad time but once you do this and you made sure that your file checksums have you know you are straight what we're going to do now is go to rufus as we're going to be creating our flash drive to be formatted into fat, uh, file system fat32 so we're going to go here to rufus 3.18 and we're gonna drag this also to our desktop. So let me go here. I'm gonna X this out for a second. So let me just hit don't save. Let's go to our downloads folder, go into rufus.exe. And what we're gonna do is just install it right now. So make sure you run this as administrator. I'm already as a admin on my PC, but this is what we're gonna to need to get started to format our drives to FAT32. So first things first, what we're going to do is make sure you select the right drive currently i took out any of my you know main drives in my system or any external things this is very important please if you have any important data or you know you just want to be safe and not make sure you're not overriding your other drive you make sure you know just unplug them safely eject them because you don't want to like rewrite over a very important drive and lose all your data because you'll probably be crying for months but here's my drive right here new volume thing right here if I actually go into Windows file system itself um, I do have another drive called E but it's not showing up right here but just to kind of give you an example actually before I process this if I go into properties you can see here that this is a file system is on XFAT so if you're in this case if you're on NTFS and XFAT you really need to go ahead and format to FAT32 or the PS3 is not going to read your update if I go into new volume here I already know this is already on FAT32 which is correct so if you're on fat 32 you could kind of disregard this and go to the next step and you know once i have my chapter set up on youtube you can just go to the next step however if your thing says x fat or ntfs what you need to do is of course back up all your data because anytime you reformat your thing um your data will be erased but what we're going to do now is actually get through the rufus part so next thing what we're going to do is hit non-bootable <laughs> we're going to keep our thing to mrb bios or eufy just say yes Make sure you're on FAT32. Volume label, you could go ahead and create a label of this. I'm just going to leave this to 8 gigabytes. I could probably call it PS3. And then just want to hit start. And then it's just giving you that warning that, like I said, like all data on this device will be destroyed. I already backed up any data on this device. So I'm pretty much good in that regard. So let's hit OK. So it's deleting partitions. D is not accessible right now so right now it's probably just still doing its thing so if you get that that's fine but you can see here how it renamed my uh ps3 drive so let's go to file explorer really quick um let me go to my drive here all right so you can see here here's my drive formatted to fat32 that means we're good to go these two files um you could delete or not delete i'll just leave it uh for here for now but what i'm going to do is exit out rufus go to here now what we're going to do is transfer our hfw file so i'll have this kind of like set up in two windows folders this is like kind of the easiest way to do it and i'm going to show you guys on what we need to do um in terms of that regard so what i'm going to do is hit new folder we're going to create a folder in all capital letters guys ps3 then what we're going to do in that folder we're going to create another one called update u p d a t and then inside this update folder, we're going to go and drag and drop it to our root of this folder. So right now, just wait for your thing, you know, drink some coffee, just wait for it to do its thing. This is an old USB drive. This is from <laughs> middle school for me. And this is like a USB 2.0. Uh, but even with my USB 3.1 ports, it should take a little bit you know faster time to do this but once it's you know fully done this is another additional step you don't have to technically do it but for me i love to be you know safe when i go through all of this i'm going to recheck my md5 hash again just so i know for sure before i plug this in to one of my playstation 3 consoles um that we are good to go for this process so let me go ahead and online md5 hasher i'm going to just refresh the page 
I'm gonna go to the file directory where I have it. So it's not on my desktop, it's now in the PS3. And this is kind of a good way to check to know where if your you know file structure or directory is correct. So PS3 in all capitals, update, PS3 update.pup. Okay, it's uploading. And if we go back to the HFW page, we will take note of the MD5 hash again and we will go here all right we're good to go and it checked out so now you successfully did basically one of the quote unquote harder parts to this situation um so all we got to do now is go and hit show hidden icons we're going to safely eject out our usb medium so i'm going to eject my cruiser right here so that's mine yours will be definitely different so now you're ready to go to plug this in your PlayStation 3 and I'm going to teach you guys on how to successfully install HFW so I'll meet you guys for that process. Alrighty, as of right now guys, we are back onto our PlayStation 3 device. We are ready to go to get started on, you know, the actual HFW process. So just to kind of give a little um, overview of this right now, let me go to my system settings. I am currently on HFW hen on 4.89 however I'm mean, excuse me 4.88 my goal is to get up to HFW 4.89 so if you're you know updating to hybrid firmware from another hybrid firmware um of course you can follow this guide or if you're going from OFW to OFW or you're on 4.89 yourself you're ready to go to get started and updating your system so one thing what we want to do first now is to ensure that your USB is plugged into the right most USB port on your system I'll have a little picture on the screen just so you know we have a visual representation um it's basically the usb port that is closest to your um flash drive or excuse me your blu-ray drive so if you have like the um original ps3 systems you would want to plug it to the fourth usb slot if that makes any sense however what we're going to do is disable our network settings just so we make it sure we're not updating from 4.80 uh, 9 OFW we want to download the one that's on our flash drive system we're going to go to update storage media and all right so this is what we want to have here the following update was found version 4.89.1 hybrid exploitable firmware location USB device just go ahead and what we're going to do now is hit OK for this thing now I'm just waiting for it to do its thing so this is just the user license agreement as you remember from the ps3 exploit disclaimer uh escorted did state that this was the date of the build so may 11 2022 um what we're going to do is just hit accept then it says do not turn off the system during this update if you do you may not be able to restart back your ps3 um i just usually leave this system uh unchecked but i'm just going to hit start and then yeah what you want to do is just you know sit back relax um you know maybe eat some snacks drink some coffee do whatever you want to do in the meantime when you do this but make sure you know don't pl unplug any usb drives um you know ensure that you're not doing anything in terms of like you know plugging out the plug make sure you're in a like basically a stable position in doing this because you do not want to break your system so Right now, your PlayStation 3 will be going into its system software settings. So I'll be kind of waiting for it to pop up on the screen itself. Since it sometimes uh, takes a little while for it to do that. I am trying to make sure it is doing that right quick. Alrighty, I'm not too sure what my capture card did, but however it is installing now. Um, sorry I didn't get footage from the part where it was like from zero to 20%. However, um, yes, it's now back on the screen. Once it is fully um updated, I will keep the rest of the footage raw um in this so I can you know you know make sure that you guys can see that the full process does work from start to finish. Um, but I am not too sure why my capture card um you know just wanted to die in that uh, scenario when i was you know doing the video however once it's fully has updated we will be transferring over to the next step which is clearing all of our web browsers like initial data in terms of our cache systems we're going to be deleting cookies our search or excuse me our search history and as well as our authentication information so when we go onto ps3exploit.com we'll be all set up to have the most quote unquote stable you know system in terms of basically going into the hen installer page to get our 
p3t file excuse me and our payload sent over to our console i know that is kind of a handful um what i am stating right now if you have never done hen or hfw however i will definitely walk through this with you guys but yeah i will be muting my mic right now um the footage will be raw on the screen but once the playstation 3 is on hff or excuse me hybrid firmware we will be definitely checking out that we on the latest firmware itself and then we'll go on for this process i'll meet you guys for that Alrighty, so as you can see here guys, the PlayStation 3 has now officially restarted. I don't know, it's had like 50% and then it just, I, I seem to restart it quickly for me. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open up our user pane. You can clearly see I did have homebrew applications on this device before. Um, I didn't really have anything but multi-man and stuff like that. Um, but let's go to our system settings first. Let's go into system information and voila, we are now on version 4.89. Next up, what we're gonna do is re-enable our network settings. So let me enable that. Let me actually turn off my secondary TV in the background so it's not coming over um, this actual voiceover. Uh, but yeah, once we have that, let's go ahead into our internet browser and there will be some things we'll be changing for this process. So, okay. Let's just close out of this real quick right now. So we're gonna go into triangle. We're gonna go under our network column here. So let's go into tools. Then what we're gonna do is go ahead and make sure that our cookies, we're gonna have allow. As well, what we're gonna do for this process is confirm browser close. We're gonna make sure that is enabled to off. Next, we're gonna open up the tool browser again. And what we're going to do here is make sure that the home page, so let's go to our home page, is set as blank. So use blank page and then hit OK. Next, what we're going to do is go back, hit triangle one more time, go into tools. We're going to go ahead and delete our cookies. Next thing, what we're going to do is going to delete our search history as well. Delete our cache. And then what we're going to do is delete are go to tools once again delete our authentication information i will have this in a pin comment as well but once we have done all of these steps we're going to go back out from the internet browser we're going to go into the internet browser one more time and what we're going to do is we're going to go and hit search and make sure of course your wi-fi is on we're going to hit ps3.exploit.com it's going to prompt up google and we're going to choose the first page so all right, so now we are on the first page of this. What we're gonna do is now select PS3 hen folder. We're gonna go into HFW right here. And what we're gonna do is go into, I mean, excuse me, we're gonna go to hen installer and enabler. So let's go to that. So right now you already see that it has downloaded the PlayStation3.p3t file, which is a good sign. All we gotta do is hit circle. Next, what we're going to do is initialize hen installer. No, this may take a couple of tries, um, depending, but you can see here, hen installer initialized successfully. Let's go ahead and hit install hen. So we're actually doing pretty good because sometimes it would take me like once or two tries. Well, actually, I talked too soon. You can see here, hen failure has started. What we got to do is restart the PlayStation 3 and retry. So that is, you know, typically no notable for this. But what I'm gonna do is perfect that it did happen in this case. So I can show you that, you know, if you get this error, all you gotta do is, you know, back out of the internet browser, turn off your console, and then we will be ready to go. So I'll meet you guys back once I have this all done. All right, so we're back on the PlayStation 3 one more time. What we're gonna do is go ahead into our internet browser once again. We will be going to our history page. So let's go to history. Let's go to PS3 hen installer. All right, so you can see how it downloaded once again. What we're gonna do is go into initialize hen installer. You can see hen successfully installed once again. Let's go ahead and install hen. And 
and I noticed when this happens too, um, what I did was initialize hen, and then I went to go install hen again. I don't know if this is kind of a new bug or situation like that. However, when I installed hen and then did that as well, I got the install hen process, and basically it just downloaded version 3.17. So let's see if that does the same thing so you can see that the progress is on 15 percent i'm not too sure if i need to like needed to re clear cache or something like that but that's something i do recommend you guys doing um just the same original steps so you can see how it says hen install initially successful let's install hen <laughs> yeah so you can see here in the right hand corner welcome to 3.10 um webman and ps3 hen is now enabled it also you can see I have the hen egg here but just to verify that your hen installation has successfully did its thing let's go ahead and turn off our PlayStation 3's one more time since we can verify that hen at boot is working and then we can enable certain um, avenues of stuff alrighty as you can see here we have the hen actual boot up icon that is a very very good sign that you know hen and hfw are working as intended what we need to do next is just verify that our homebrew applications are working so let me just sign into any user here um and what we're going to do first is enable hen so let me go ahead and enable hen and what i'll actually do just so you know reiterate that we're on 4.89 so you can see here this is the latest play reload is 3.10 since the old one was like 3.00 but yeah you can already see here that i already had a webman install so i had some uh ps3 games already installed on my external ntfs drive um just for like testing purposes uh, um but yeah if i go back into one second system settings uh, and I go into system information. You can see that we're on successfully 4.89. Um, I want to, you know, just load up any homebrew application. So it really doesn't matter. I will open up a multi-man. And then in the last section of this video, I will kind of show you guys on how to download my Nagato homebrew pack. It's just kind of like an all-in-one you know basically useful homebrew tools that i like to use and stuff like that but yeah you can see here multi-man working as intended to be um yeah so i'm just gonna like exit out of this and you guys can see that multi-man is doing what it needs to do so yeah you can definitely launch homebrew applications um if i have playstation one titles on my usb or on my internal hard drive we can definitely run them as well um but yeah this is essentially how to install hen and hfw next I'm going to show you guys on how to use package manager and to install um, some package files from your root device itself and I'm going to be showcasing to you guys on everything of that nature right now so I'll meet you guys back for that on the PC. Alrighty so in the next segment of this video which will be the last here is my essential ps3 head homebrew Nagato pack um I did not make any of these uh, homebrew applications I just kind of like put them into one folder directory or zip so it's just very easy to install a bunch of homebrew applications rather than just scurrying all over the internet um basically to get you know the essential stuff on your hen ps3 but what we need to do now since it's downloaded we can just drag and drop it since i am using google chrome or you could go to your downloads folder find where you know the stuff is at but with all of that kind of like getting out the way what we're going to do is just extract this out to our root of our desktop with like Renoir. i am on my other computer if you take guys notice this is i'm on my windows 10 machine uh but it's pretty much the same thing if you're on windows 11 or windows 10. um but yeah, here's my homebrew pack. Here of all the PKGs I have here. Um, here's my little readme I did a while back. This is, actually came from version 4.88 video that I did. Um, and I kind of gave like a little, you know, basically rundown of which file system is which, like what directory and how to install it. But I'm gonna show you guys that it's super simple. So once you have your USB that you, you know, definitely transferred your files over onto, what we're gonna do is go to another file directory. So let's go ahead and back to my desktop real quick. Go to the folder. All we gotta do is literally drag and drop to our root of our USB. Very simple, nothing too, 
you know, <laughs> complex. But uh, once that is fully, fully finished, what we're gonna do is now go back into our drive. So let me exit this out. And okay, we're gonna go here, eject Cruiser U, and now we're gonna plug it back into our PlayStation 3 system. So I'll meet you guys back once I get the PS3 up and running. All right, so last but not least, we're back onto the PlayStation 3 one more time. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and plug in my USB port into the rightmost USB port on my system. And now I'm gonna teach you guys on how to install package files. So just to kind of give you a little update itself, I'm gonna delete Multiman actually. Um, just to kind of show you guys that this full process works. Oh, not enable hen. I accidentally meant to hit package manager. So let me just quit out of that really, really quickly uh, before it restarts my computer. I mean, not my computer, but my PS3. But um, once I get back into XMB, what we're gonna do is go into package manager, install packages, go to standard, the third option, the root of your storage device. And you should see all of your um files that we were transferring over. So I'm gonna uninstall the unofficial multi-man based version that was made. I know 4.85 is actually the newest one. So uh, yeah, that is actually the newest one and I should probably include that up in the update. However, you know, 4.84 would definitely work in its firmware and I'll show you guys that now. But yeah, this is just kind of showing you guys on how to install, you know, each homebrew application. All you gotta do is, you know, click over each item or I think even actually you can hit triangle if I believe and you could do that so this is kind of just a user license agreement all of that fun stuff um but yeah i'm gonna hurry up and quit out of multi-man since uh there's a song that is copyrighted in here but you can see the homebrew application is working because if you were not on hand or custom firmware uh none of this will actually work in any sense but yeah you can see the screen has booted up successfully i will be exiting this out immediately so we won't hear any noise because i i do not want to like you know cut out some audio uh for this instance but yeah this is essentially how to fully jailbreak your playstation 3 on hybrid firmware on the latest um, instance with that being all out the way my name is nagato's revenge if you guys have any questions at all on how to do this please leave a comment down below in the comment section or you could go ahead and join my official discord which i will have prompted up now on the screen and also in the link in the description and pin comment down below so we have basically helpers to get you guys you know ready to go on 4.89 firmware but with all of that being out the way love you guys and i'll see you guys next time peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace